Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Madam Speaker, I just want to uh, inform Senior Counsel Honorable Tiende Amolo that part of the reason they are having problems is the entire legal team was men. There's no women, and yet there are brilliant women lawyers like me in this house. Next time, put us there, and we'll help you. Secondly, Madam Speaker, in areas that have been predominantly opposition, the only fund you can rely on that is changing lives is CDF. Third, Madam Speaker, in my own constituency, I have seen us move from mud walled grass patch schools to permanent schools. I would want to encourage the judges and people who live in cities to do an immersion in the village so that they know the reality. A lot of people do not know the reality on the ground. The people who are posh in cities, the lawyers and the ones who are lofty, go to the ground and learn the reality. Madam Speaker, I would also want to say that in relation to the law, our judges, especially Supreme Court, have been very liberal and progressive in interpretation of the Constitution. That is why they even interpreted the Constitution to include gay, gay rights. But when it comes to development, then they start telling you, Montesquieu, separation of powers. I have no problem with separation of powers as espoused by Montesquieu many years back. But Montesquieu does not come from my village, Kolo, in Rusinga Island. He does not know. The pe what people go through. Yes. That is a very good concept, but what, something good is finally coming out of Africa, which is the issue of NDCDF. Yeah. Development. And Madam Speaker, I was just discussing with Honorable Tiende Amolo that we must be brave as lawyers. And if there is one legacy we must leave in this house, is to entrench the fourth role of a member of parliament in this country, yes. which is development. If it does not come through NGCDF, it will come through my pocket. That is the reality. And the members that came before us were overwhelmed. That is why they prom promoted this. Right now, the role of MPs has totally been removed. But MPs are still being harassed. Put it and make MPs have a role. I have no excuse. Anybody can bash me what they want. But as an intellectual and as a bright lawyer, this is one thing I am willing to defend to my grave. Bora usiguze NGCDF. When Gida wanasema bora usiguze mulima, mimi bora usiguze NGCDF. Apo tutapigana.